Today's students are looking for a flexible post-secondary experience that provides them with pathways to credentials and opportunities for learning and growth. Unbundling is the best way to deliver on these expectations. Now, to understand the value of unbundling, you have to understand today's student demographic. Today's students no longer fit the mold of the 18 to 22 year old fresh out of high school. They're non-traditional and they're enrolled in higher education for specific career purposes. They're going to enroll in whatever offering, be it a single serving course or a certificate program or even a graduate degree, that's going to allow them to hit their career goals. There's no one size fits all offering that's going to allow institutions to serve all non-traditional students. Flexibility then is absolutely essential to being able to serve this diverse demographic. So what is flexibility? Well, it means a lot more than keeping your phone banks open till 8 p.m. or even offering courses on the weekends. True flexibility can be seen in instruction, in scheduling, and in credentialing. Now I know this sounds daunting, but it's not impossible. See, the issue is that today, a lot of institutions approach flexibility through duplication. So they'll have duplicate courses on the books meant to serve diverse audiences. For example, an institution will have a single course that's meant for a degree program. They'll duplicate that course so it can be used in a certificate program, and they'll duplicate it again so it can be used as the basis for customized training. All this duplication, even though the course subject matter is still the same. Through unbundling, an institution can avoid the problem of having to achieve flexibility through creating infinite courses for infinite programs by using single courses in many different ways. Basically, unbundling allows institutions to tier their offerings so that students can opt into or out of any aspect of the academic product. So for example, a student could opt into a given course, but opt out of academic advising or even credit. Unbundling allows institutions to offer students the flexibility they're looking for while scaling their offerings across multiple different packages. Now it's important to understand that unbundling is not some flash in the pan idea. It's on trend in higher education and its effects can be seen across a wide range of consumer industries. A chancellor recently wrote on the evolution that unbundled flexibility is the future of higher education because it represents a direct response to the demands of today's students. Today's customers don't want to be boxed into specific packages or limited term contracts. They want on-demand access to whatever products or services they're looking for. Forcing customers into packages limits their choices, regardless of the industry. While this might be easier from an administrative perspective, it's a far cry from the type of flexibility today's students are looking for.